So hi friends, welcome back to the channel and I'm back with uh, one more interview experience. And this time it's all about uh, L and T. And uh, today we'll be, we have uh, Charan, who is my super senior. And he'll be giving complete roadmap that uh, how, you, how you can prepare for multinational companies like uh, L and T. And additional to that, after completion of this video, we'll be getting complete idea about uh, what, like how you can prepare for interview and uh, importance of coding too. And uh, without wasting much time, let's start it. Hi Charan, how are you? Hi, Akshay. I'm good. How oh, about you? I'm doing great, Charan. Uh, thanks for asking. So, Charan, uh, why don't you introduce yourself uh, to audience? Hi, everyone. Uh, I am Charan. Uh, I'm a B-Tech, B-tech graduate. I completed my B-Tech in 2019. Thereafter that, uh, I went for pursuing my post-graduation. I completed it recently in 2021. Thereafter that, uh, I am joining LNT as a post uh management training uh i got it from the campus from my post graduation mm -hmm. so charan now how is the hiring process of uh, lnt company see basically the lnt has a multiple uh businesses mm -hmm. they were into a lot of businesses but okay. the hiring process for uh any of the business happens through a single platform which will mm -hmm. be initially starting with the all india exam mm -hmm. where they will be posting uh, they will be contacting all the major colleges okay. if they are going to do the uh, from they are going to do hiring from the colleges but mm -hmm. if they are doing through the references then they will directly sending you the mail additional to that uh, if i want to be clear the once you are done with your document uh, submissions they will go through all your of course then they will start uh, working on uh, your uh, technical interview they will initially give you a slot mm -hmm. where you will be uh, uh, going through some certain platform they will be suggesting you to connect to them okay. then uh, you will be having a cert certain panel members which are from uh, it's from the different departments from mm -hmm. the LNT mm -hmm. they will be checking you the skills based on your post which you are allocated if you are are uh, given to the post of the core civil engineering job mm -hmm. Uh, entry level site okay. engineering job, mm -hmm. then they will be uh, testing you mostly on your technical skills, okay. a bit managerial skills. Mm -hmm. But if you are uh, uh, trying for a uh, uh, upper level management jobs or middle level management job, okay. then you will be mostly focused on the managerial skills rather than your technical skills. Okay. But they will be focusing on the technical skills, but a bit they will be certainly focused on if you are trying for a middle level management job most of the cases you will be having a bit experience so they will be focusing on your experience rather than uh, the whole topic oh, okay. but if you are for a site, site engineer or basic student engineering fresher mm -hmm. then they will be trying to concentrate all the subjects okay initially in many cases they may ask you what's your favorite subject and, yeah. Uh -huh. They want to know your communication, good you are with your communication than your tech skills. Mm -hmm. If they give you abstract topic, they will give you time 30 to 30 seconds to 2 minutes to prepare. Okay. Then they may ask you to speak for 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. Once you are done with your 5 minutes of your uh, storytelling or something on that topic, then they will ask you, they will congratulate you and they will ask you to leave. That's it. Okay, like on the spot, uh, they will say the result or like uh, any initial timing will be there, like after... Okay. Uh, I don't know whether my signal is sure or yours. No, it's... No, I it's can't good. hear you. No, it's because, good. Uh, uh -huh. So what I was asking is like, uh, what is the time taken? Like uh, after completion of your technical, they will announce the result on the spot or they will take some time? No, no, definitely they are not going to announce you on the spot. Okay. They will just say we will looking forward to... for. Uh, you to be in your company or something okay. like that then they will be leaving you but uh, it took around one month for me to the to get the results because it's a whole india process, so they need to screen each and every candidate and they will understand got it it's like uh, there are concepts in management that uh, it's based on uh, the panel and uh, the guy who presenter before you means who mm. gave the interview before you mm. if he is a really good guy then he will be definitely be in the issue got it, you got know it. it happens in each and every interview got it guy same. before you is a really bad 
Okay, so Charan, uh, like if possible, just try to uh, give some tips like uh, how an individual can prepare for interview. See, uh, I will give you a best thing what happened with me also. It's like you may know that many of the individuals, once they are like, they got to know that they are selected to the round of interview mm -hmm. or they selected for any company. Mm -hmm. They'll be so much confused what to read and they will be reading whatever they find. Okay. What I suggest is that it's really a bad choice mm. because you will be like stuffing your mind with all the unnecessary things and you will be forgetting what you should have to read this. See, the first thing which anyone will be doing is like you will be Googling that particular organization and you will be getting to know what they are asking. Exactly. See, any of the organization, if you are a fetcher, they will be trying to focus on very basic things. Mm -hmm. Initially, prepare if it is an interview. Mm. You prepare or resume very clearly. Make sure that there are no, there are any, uh, some bits which you have mentioned in your resume and if you are aware of them, try to know about them. Mm. Make sure there are no spelling mistakes, grammatical mistakes in your resume mm -hmm. because they, it's your first impression for yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, your internship, okay. definitely it's a very important thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, your project uh, or a thesis which you are working on your final year mm. see uh, many people uh, as per my experience may not be knowing what they had done also except one or two guys in the batch mm. so please i suggest you have a basic idea what you have done your project okay. so that uh, if they ask about that topic you may be in a position to explain what the process flow you had done at mm. least you may not know pin by pin, it's okay. But at least you need to know the process, how you executed the project. That will give them the confidence that you have done something in your project. Then other than that, if you Google something, you will be getting some interviews or some questions mm -hmm. which was explained by the guy who already attended the interview or somewhere. Yeah. Was people already in the company. So try to read those questions and try to go around those questions it's like someone okay. asked about cement mm. you read about the cement some other topics mm. so that you will be ready other than reading everything from all the subjects thank you Chiran. Uh, thank you for uh, giving like enlightening us about the importance of coding and uh, yeah Chiran, we have uh, reached our destination of our interview experience and thank you for making time and joining me and uh, yeah, guys, this is all about today's interview experience. And if you have any kind of doubt, suggestions, please comment it down and I will try to answer them. And thank you, Chiran. Thank you once again to you.